Hey everyone, Christina Simmons from Say Yes to Holiness here. So are you ready for Christmas? That's what I want to talk to you about because I know many of us might not feel ready for Christmas yet. So I want to share three tips to make this your best Christmas ever. So one of the things that we need to do is we need to hold on to hope. And I'm taking a couple of quotes from one of my favorite saints, St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. And she tells us, and this is what I, we need to hold on to hope. She says, Jesus loves you even more. He longs for you. He misses you when you don't come close. He thirsts for you even when you don't feel worthy. I know sometimes I struggle with not being ready for Christmas because I'm like, I'm not worthy of this great gift. I'm not worthy to come even before the manger, the baby in the manger, Jesus Christ himself. I'm not ready to come before him because I'm not worthy. But the fact is, is that we need to hold on to hope. We need to hold on to the reality that God loves us. He loved us so much that he sent his son for us so that we could be reconciled with him. Another thing that we can be doing is that we need to hold on to hope, especially in our world right now. And that's part of where my, my shirt, you know, comes in, where it's like, believe there is good by being the good. This is how we hold on to hope. This is how we're able to have the best Christmas ever because we're holding on to hope, knowing that God loves us. The second thing that we need to do is we need to rest in God's peace. Remember, you have a family. I know many of us, especially during these holiday times, it can be very difficult because our loved ones, some of them might have passed on, especially during this, uh, this 2020. Uh, it's been a heck of a year. And many of us have suffered and tragedy has been amongst us as people have died from COVID and from other related, you know, diseases. And it's been a really difficult time. And some families have been fractured because of all of the stress that's come economically and also physically, but mentally as well. And what we have to remember though, is that we need to just rest in God's peace. And how do we do that? By remembering that we're part of a family the human family. If COVID has done anything for us, it has shown us that we are interrelated, that we are connected with one another. And again, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, she says, if we have no peace, it's because we have forgotten that we belong to each other. And this is so true during this Christmas time. We need to remember that we belong to one another. And in, when we remember that, we remember that we're part of the human family, then what happens is, is that we're able to rest in God's peace, that God is caring for all of us. He promised that he would, and he is. He's caring for us, even when things are difficult and challenging. So one of the ways that we can practically rest in God's peace is spend time in quiet prayer. You don't need to do anything, but go before the manger, and just be quiet before him. This is how you can spend time in prayer. This is how you can rest in his peace. This is how you can remember that all of us are part of that human family and all of us are connected to one another. And finally, third tip, share the joy. How do we share the joy? Again, my shirt, believe there is good, but be the good, be kind. One of the biggest things that we can do is to be kind, to be gentle, to be generous. This is one of the most beautiful parts of the Christmas season is that we tend to be more generous. We tend to be more patient and we tend to be more kind. So how can we share that joy? Well, be kind. And one final quote from Mother Teresa. She tells us, and this ties to us, is the fact that holiness grows fast where there is kindness. I've never heard of kind souls going astray. The world is lost for one of sweetness and kindness. And this is one of the great challenges we have right now. Right now in the midst of this long pandemic 
of what is becoming another crisis point for us in the midst of this winter time is the fact that we're getting tired. We are tired. We're exhausted. But being an endurance, you know, athlete myself, I know that right now we're just at that point of where it's just like we just need to persevere. We just need to hold on to hope. We just need to rest in God's peace so that we can share the joy. If you follow these three steps this week, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to have your best Christmas ever. Why? Because you're going to be filled with love. You're going to be filled with God's love for you and the love of others around you. And you're going to be sharing the joy of that love. And that is what Christmas is all about. That God so loved the world that he sent his only son to be with us. And that, that is what we celebrate on Christmas. We celebrate that we're not alone. We celebrate that we are loved because Emmanuel, God with us, has come. So enjoy these final days of Advent. And then as a way to celebrate Christmas, go and be a part of the free Emmanuel Christmas Fair and Festival that Smart Catholics is hosting. You can register at smartcatholics.com forward slash Emmanuel. Again, that's smartcatholics.com forward slash Emmanuel. And also, keep an eye out for my free Christmas gift that I'm going to be sending out to my entire email list on Christmas Day. If you aren't a part of that email list already, if you're not already getting my weekly newsletter, if you're not already getting notifications about these YouTube videos, about my latest podcasts, and about other things that are going on in the Say Yes to Holiness ministry, then go and text Say Yes to Holiness to 66866. Again, text Say Yes to Holiness to 66866. That way you get that free Christmas gift that I'm sending out to everyone on Christmas Day. Know of my prayers for you in these final days leading up to this joyous season that we're going to begin celebrating this coming week. God bless and Merry Almost Christmas.